four two, and that is four bits of the uh, four two, right? And remember that here. The bits are as uh, in the fourth we read bits as B not to B seven. That is B not B one B two B three B four B five B six B seven. And this can be read as that is for example if it is a four two if it is a D not it means it is P two point zero. If it is B one means then it is P two point one, right? Okay. If it is a seven pin, means it is P seven. Sorry, uh, P two dot seven. Is it clear? Means B seven pin of the four two. And next is here it is clear accumulator dot seven. So accumulator again it is the eight bit digits, right? Accumulator is again it is the eight bit which set is from D not to D seven. So when after execution of this instruction, this uh, D seven bit will be zero. Correct. And next we have here clear PSW dot three. And you all know that the uh, PSW is my program status word, right? During this one, many flags will be checked in the program status word. Correct? No. Right. That is. Uh, See, this is the program status word. That is, the D not is for the parity flag, D two is for the old flag, D three for the RS not, and D four for the RS one. D five is uh, some user defined flag. D six is AC, and D seven is carry flag. Right. So here, if I write the clear PSW dot three is nothing but after the process of execution of this instruction, processor will set R S not is zero. Clear? If I write it is PS four means it will make R S one as zero. If I write it as a P S W dot seven means it will make a carry flag this bit as zero. Fine. Right. And next similarly we have set bit. So this is just the opposite function of the clear instruction. So what it does it is it set the carry bit, or we can use the instruction to set the any bits addressable location of the RAM. Okay. So same way I have written here set bit PSW dot four. It's nothing but if we use set bit set bit PSW dot four means The processor will set the RS one as one. Is it clear? Right. If it is PSW dot three means it will set the RS not as one. Right. So next, uh, similarly, uh, if we want to set any particular uh, pin of the ports. That also we can do. That is set bit p one dot two, right? So in the earlier I said that uh, this bit manipulation instruction is work with the direct address. So here we can uh, use uh, special function registers as here name, or we can use the address of those special function registers. Okay. See, for example, we'll see now here the port p not. Assigned is from ATH to ATH7H, right? So now we can write, for example, if you want to set the first, that is AT, that is P not P not B, correct? So what we can use set bit P not B. Instead of this one, we can also use set bit A T H. So both the instruction does the same operation. But in case of this, uh, from twenty H to thirty H, two years specification, we have to use the direct address. For example, if I want to set this memory location, that is seven, right? That is we have to use set bit zero C 
plus n x. Is it clear? 0, 7, x. So we have to use here the direct argument. Next step. CPLC is a bit complement. See, it complements the carry flag. For example, if the carry flag maybe it sets zeros due to some operations, if you want to complement this carry flag, then we can use complement C. After this instruction, the carry flag will become 1. Is it clear? And similarly, this also that is CPL bit. Means this bit can be any uh, uh, particular pin of the port or any particular pin uh, bit of the special function register. Right? So next we have here. Uh, Okay, before going this, uh, explaining this one, we'll see some examples on using the clear and the set bit. Okay, so we'll take the example that, we'll take example that, uh, move accumulator to R7 of register band register band 1. Is it clear? So now I think you might know that you have studied in the first module that by default the processor select the register band 0. That is means PSWO bits uh, will be 0, 0. Correct? So now we need to save accumulator Content of accumulator to R7 register of register bank 1. Correct, no? So, how to select the register bank 1 means this uh, RS0 should become 1 and RS1 should be 0. Correct, no? If I do this one means register bank 1 will be set. So, how to do this one now? Our RS1 is 0 itself and for the register bank 1 also it must be 0. So no need to do anything for this RS1. Just we need to set the RS0. So for that what we can do? Set bit PSW dot 3 and then move PSW dot sorry move move R7 comma X. Okay. So when we sell, when we do, do, uh, do this instruction, when we use this instruction, it will select the register band 1 and then the accumulator content will be stored in R7. Okay. Now, for example, again, uh, move again this uh, accumulator content to register R3 of register band. Register bank 2. Register bank 2. So, register bank 2 is nothing but RS1 should be 1 and RS0 should be 0. So, right now RS0 is 1 and RS1 is 0. So, now what we need to do now? I need RS0 should be 0. Correct, no? But this is having 1, so it should be 0. So, what I can do? Clear PSW dot 3. So, what does it will do? It will make RS0 bit dash 0. Okay, right? And now, RS1 has to be 0, but we need 1. So, for that, what we can use? Set bit. PSW dot 4. So, what it is will do? It will just RS1 to become 1. So, now we can use move R3 comma A. Right? So, now till here it is register band 0 and after this instruction it is register band so, like this, we can make use of the clear and the set instruction, right? And this set and clear instruction are mainly, uh, like mostly, uh, like in 
many cases we use in the timer programming that we will see in the module 3 and 4. So next instruction we have here is ANLC comma bit. So this ANL we have seen in the logical instruction part means this will do the logical act. In the logical instruction part we will use that to operate on the bytes but in this case we will be using to operate on the bit. So what this will do here it is it will add the carry flag uh, and the carry flag to the bit of the any bit addressable location and the result will be stored in the cache. Correct? Right? So this is C and this bit can be any. This is C2.2 or it can be any direct address. Okay? Only condition is this should be the bit addressable location of the AT fifty one. Okay? Right? And similarly here we have ANLC comma slash bit. So slash bit means complement of the code. Okay. For example now what is the here it is we need C. And then here the port we have is P2.2. Right. That is uh, D0 D1 D2 pin of this. So that we need to complement. It will complement and then it will do and and result will be stored in C. Okay, clear now, right? So next, similarly, we have the OR operation. Correct? We have the OR means this is just the logical OR between the carry bit and the complement of the bit or the bit. It is same in what we discussed for the AND operation. So what it is doing? Okay, this is or operation between the carry and between p2.3 and b. So here we have a slash bit is nothing but complement of the p2. For example, p2.2 is having 0 while executing this instruction, right? So now when we use this instruction, what we here we have a 0, but we are going to do 1 with the carry flag and the result will be stored in carry flag. Okay. Next here it is ORLC comma bit. It is same. We are all, with this instruction will do the logical or between the carry flag and between the P1 dot 2 with and finally the result will be stored in C. Okay. And next we have here move C comma bit. So in data transfer instruction we have seen many move instruction which works on the bytes. But this instruction will work on the bits. That is move C comma bit. So here carry flag means whatever the bit we are mentioning here that we are moving into the carry flag. So both are, both should be bits. Okay. And here it is vice versa means whatever is there in the carry flag we are moving that into the bit flag. So this bit for example we can say it is move bit means move p naught comma 6 comma c. So means content of c will be moved to the port pin that is 6 pin of the port c. Okay. So next we have jc, jnc, jb, jnb and jbc. Okay. So whatever we have studied till now. Right. So this will not change the control of uh, processor. Okay, this will not change the control of processor, but this will change. This instruction will change the processor direction. Is it clear? Right. For example, now that is J C, and this relative it is an address means where it should go if the condition is satisfied. Right. See the name is a jump if carry bit. Okay. That is jump if carry bit in the PSWO is set. Okay, that is in PSWO carry flag is actually it is D7 bit. So if the if this bit is set, then it should jump to the location whatever the relative address is mentioned. Is it clear? Right? 
and similarly we have here J and C that is jump if the carry flag is not set means if the carry flag is zero then jump to the particular location mentioned in this instruction otherwise execute with the next instruction okay so here now these two instructions are used to check the carry flag so in this we have jump fifth bit means if the particular bit is set then the, we should move to this relative address see it monitors the given bit and jump to the target address if the if the bit is set correct the bit can be any bit addressable location of the RAM post registers of and and one more thing these instructions mainly used in the timer program right means for example you can say jump bit or uh, some uh, program is that is 32.2 okay fine right so next is jnb bit correct no that is jnb bit comma relative it monitors the given bit and jump to the target address if the bit is so means this one just opposite to the j if the jump is if the bit is not set means if the particular bit is zero then we need to move to the particular relative address so the example you can see the jump is no bit three two dot three three okay so here j b c so there is a difference between this j b c and j so in this one just it will check whether the bit is set or not but what it does here it will check the bit is set if the bit is set and we were going to relative address it will clear that particular bit box that is jump if the bit is set and also clears the bit so we can use here it is jbc accumulator dot seven label it will check the seven bit of the d7 bit of the accumulator if it is set if it is set it will move to this label whatever the address will be given here it will go there and also it will clear the d7 bit of the accumulator okay now we will see one example we will see one example how to use this uh, jc okay or the jbc right okay let us take the example of adding two numbers okay so we'll come to two numbers that is from 06 h plus Zero seven eight as a one example, and the second example of as zero f plus h plus f plus h. Okay, so we'll add two numbers. To add two numbers, first we'll write this uh, number in the binary form that is zero 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 zero. So and then zero one one zero, and this one is zero 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 one one one. Okay, so now if we add 1, 1, 1, 0, carry generated here. So, and this is 1, here 1, so 0, 0, 0, 0. And now the result is 0, uh, 8 plus 4, 12 plus, and 13 means it is 6. Correct? Answer is 6. Right? In so, this is 8 bit number. Correct? The result is 8 bit. The result is so now we will add these two numbers now, right? So that is so F plus means one 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 one, and adding this as a one 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 one. So now if we add one plus one is zero, it carries generated as well as we get now one 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 one, and from this place also carry will be generated, right? So now this is represented as C. And this one is represented as F and this one is represented as E. So now this is 8 bit and this is also we are getting this can represent and this is 8. Means the result is 16. Correct? 
so both examples are addition of two numbers only but in one example when we add two numbers we are getting eight bit itself but in this one the result is exceeding the eight bit and as you all know that the in one register or in one memory location we can store only the eight bit result so now in that case we need to track the carry flag so that we can store this because this also considered as a uh, result of the addition so in these cases we can make use of the carry flag right for example now we will write the code that is let's let, let, let first number move a comma ash 0 f f h then add a comma ash 0 f f h right so here you need to check whether the carry flag is set or not to know that whether the result is more than 8 bit or not. So for that we can use the carry flag. Okay, that is jump if carry. So if this carry flag is set means if the result is exceeding then the carry flag will be 1. If the result is 8 bit itself then the carry flag will be 0. Okay, so in this way we can keep track of the uh, carry, we can keep track of the result of the 8 bit addition. Okay, and next in the next row example, you will see that it is write an ALC to check the given number is even or odd. If it is odd, store 00, zero H in 30H, else FFH. Right, right, for example, I will take uh, 06 and 07 itself. Right. So in 0, 06, right? So here the LSV which is 0. And for 0, 07H, MSV, uh, sorry, LSV which is 1. Correct now? So now to identify whether the given number is even or odd, we need to check the LSV bit of the given number, whether it is 0 or so what we can do here it is first we can store this number in the accumulator right that is move move a comma ash 06 h move a comma ash 06 h then we can check jump fifth bit accumulator dot z correct accumulator dot Accumulator dot zero, then you can say if it is if bit is set, then the given number is odd. If not, the number will be even, right? So this is the instruction we can use to check whether the given number is odd or even. So other way of checking the even and odd number is we can check the carry flag. We can check the carry flag. That is, first we need to move this LSV bit into carry flag, and then we need to check the carry flag. See, like first I we need to move 06H here, right? So now I need to move this LSV bit to carry flag. So what we can do? We can rotate right accumulator. So what happens after this one? This will now sorry RR. Right, so now what this uh, 0, 06 will become now it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and the carry flag is if it is uh, 1, 1, 0, right? If 0 means it is if it is 1 and it is 1, and carry flag what the uh, bit comes to carry flag is 0. Correct? Now here check jump if carry. If the carry flag is set then the number is odd. If the carry odd. Otherwise if the carry flag is 0 then the number is even. So like this in many, applica in many uh, applications we can make use of the bit manipulation instruction so more about this we will see in the program okay so i hope it is clear please go through all the instructions so that you can write the program in the efficient way thank you